Here we are, Miss Beatty. Breakfast. Give me a hand, would you? Now, do try. Eggs are so good for you. Miss Beatty, you must eat your breakfast. Your bag. Oh, I know. It's your ribbons. How stupid of us. There, I've put it on for you. Now, will you eat your breakfast? Glamorous for Barton House. It's lovely there. You'll share a room with just one other person instead of being in our great big ward. And they've got a separate television room. Lots of our older patients have gone there, and I know they've been very happy. Come on, other foot. Oh, your heels are sore, aren't they? I'll cream them for you when you get back to bed. There's a beautiful garden for sitting out in when the weather's fine. Back now. That's it. And there's trips to the country. You'll like that, won't you? You'll be so busy, you'll soon forget all about us. You'd like me to come and visit you? All right, then I will. <laughs> Hands now. And I mustn't forget to do your nails, must I? Lovely car. Late night. Wish it was. Oh. No, it's Shirley. Everything I do is wrong. I know I forget things, but... You're being silly. She's always watching as if... Oh, I don't know. It's as if she hates me. It's exactly the same on men's surgical. She dropped me right in it with Sister Easeby, and as a result, I had a stinking appraisal. And she's always on about her last hospital. My last hospital was very particular about that. If it was so damn perfect, why didn't you say that? Don't you know? She failed her finals. Hmm. And her so la di da. Bruce says that's why she came here. She couldn't face the humiliation of resitting them there. <laughs> that's it. She's got a chip, like we are meant to have. Oh, Elaine, you're the best adjusted person I know. Anyway, I don't think it's that simple. It never is. You know, I mean. She's not like that with everyone else. Only me. <laughs> Sometimes you're so stupid. Stupid? Yes, stupid. I mean, just look at her. She's so plain and plump and well. Shut in. How do you think she feels with you so pretty and good with the patients? Nonsense. Ain't nonsense. Just lie funny. <sighs> Could be right, I suppose. I sure am. Why don't you try with her? I mean, really try. Find out about her. There must be something you have in common. Like what? I don't know. Morning. Think of something. Who's that? Cleaners. You see, staff will be here asking me to help dust. Poor Elaine. Nothing poor about me, Blossom. Except in my pay packets. Just overworked and not giving the respect my position deserves. Oh. Let's 
Gerald, could you help with the dusting? <laughs> <laughs> Beach's bed is still unmade for the end. Oh, okay, I'll do it. Any good? I know, both crappy. Mrs. Levitt? <coughs> Mrs. Levitt? Oh, don't be frightened, it's all right. Nurse Brent, could I have a cloth, please? Here. We'd better get her into bed. I hope she's got a clean nighty, poor dear. It's all right. You're quite safe now. Think of your lovely flowers and your daughter who's coming to see you. There we are. I don't think she can hear you. She might be able to. We don't know. No, we don't. She is 83. I know. <laughs> Staff says we can go to lunch and she'll keep an eye on her. Funny thing, when we need to know how they feel, they can't tell us. When we do know, they never stop. Yes. Come on, we'd better go. <laughs> What's that? Oh, staff sandwiches. No, that. Oh, a lush bar. Five pence. I don't believe it. I think I'll try one. Oh. Here. Oh, thanks. I'll give it to you later. Don't bother. You know, I'm sure I had a 50 pence piece. Oh, in fact, I know I did. I'll kill her when I see her. Who? Rude. She's always borrowing things. Wouldn't mind if she'd only tell me. You are lucky living on your own. It does have its disadvantages. <laughs> Suppose it has. Have you ever shared? No. <coughs> <laughs> Do you wish they'd changed the posters in this canteen, don't you? <laughs> don't bother. Bother. Changing the subject. I live alone because no one has asked me to share. Oh, well, you've only been here a few months. No one asked me at my last hospital either. Perhaps when you've been here a bit longer. I doubt it. Given time, time I'm makes no difference. Look, if you ever feel like sharing, Ruth knows this girl who's desperate. She's very nice. She's got a flat she can't afford. I don't think it's got much furniture, but it's, it's large. I have plenty. Do you? <laughs> Masses. Well, then why don't you meet her? You don't have to commit yourself. Just see the flat and then if you like it, well. I wonder. Oh, go on, you've nothing to lose. Look, Ruth's in this evening, so why don't you come back and we can fix it up then? Well, won't you think it's funny? The girl, I mean. Oh, why should she? Well, a friend of a friend. Nonsense. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. All right, I will. Good. I'll bring Ruth now. Oh. Oh, can I borrow two feet for the phone? Of course. So it's all fixed then? Rusa should get her over and we'll all have a bump of tea. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much, Jo. Hope it works out. I'll take these. Would you? Thanks. You ought to have a proper lunch. Got to get off early. Brian's got an important dinner fix for this evening. He'll go berserk if I'm late. Well, you better not let number seven catch you eating on the walls. Ah, she won't if I see her first. Here, give these out. And then uh, take this down to pharmacy. How's Mrs. Levitt? Oh, she settled down nicely. Your hair looks smashing. It's not too much. No, it's lovely. 
You look a different person. Thank you. Well, Mrs. Harris. This is supposed to be the best moment, isn't it? Seeing a patient is well enough to leave. I was really fond of her. They'll look after her. Her and 200 others. She dropped a ribbon. Miss Brent. Yes, Tom. Maintenance. What for, eh? Ruth! How did you get through? <laughs> you wicked thing! Oh, that's great! I didn't know how you did it! <laughs> of course I'll be ready. Shirley. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, okay. Goodbye. Who's that? Wrong number. Yeah. <gasps> oh, stunts. Stretchers arrive from casualty. Would you and Nurse Brent set her in bed? something's come up. What? Well, Ruth's got two tickets to the opening of a new disco and it's it's a very special occasion and you'd like to cancel my visit? No, not cancel it. Just put it off. That is if you don't mind. You see, I've got to wash my hair and... I understand. We'll fix it up for another time, I promise. I've plenty to do at home. <laughs> 